Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, The Truth Show Deluxe, and also support my Patreon account. All the links are below, or you can just hit it at the end of this video. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you can get any notifications for when I do drop a video. With that being said, let's get started. Now, here we go again with Gail King and a little bit of Oprah Winfrey. You know, I did a video about her. I will leave the link below so you can check that out. But you know what? Someone is spilling all the beans about Gail King. And it's not all good. Mm -mm. Okay, we all know Gail is very ruthless. She and Oprah are friends. And she was once married. Those are the basic stats. We already know that already. But no one doesn't know how she became who she is and how she rose so fast. Believe it or not, Gail moved up by ousting her rivals and taking cases that gained views, regardless of if it goes against her race, history, who cares? I mean, money and power, right? <laughs> oh, there's more. You see, Gail is known to frozen out her rivals and surviving sex scandals, but still managed to live a stunning private life, which is abundantly impossible in this business faced with a record reputation caused by allegations of sexual misconduct against host charlie rose and ceo les moonves cbs news president susan Zarensky begged gail to save the network oh yes however sly gail only signed on after her salary was doubled to 11 million dollars and rival nora o'donnell and be realistic here was booted off show and moved to 60 minutes and cbs evening news sources claim so yes that's what she did she basically had nora o'donnell booted off and booted to nightly news that a lot of people really don't watch oh yes oh i'm not done yet gil wanted to be friends with o'donnell but they just didn't fit together See, this is what, you know, was going on first. They didn't fit together. Now, snitches, an insider, this is what an uh, insider said, the friction between them was so bad that Gail changed her schedule of getting her hair and makeup done at home at 4 a.m. She didn't want to come to the studio. She wanted to get it done at her house. Oh, yes, that's how bad it was. Before arriving at the studio, just to stay away from her. Like, okay, I'm not going to the studio to be near this chick. Come to my house to do my hair. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, girl could have, you know, got the ex. She could have. I mean, she is getting older. They're looking for people younger. You know how Hollywood is. But instead, the network brass took the hint and pushed Nora to another slot. And like I said earlier, they doubled her salary. Mm -hmm. So her connections with Oprah is pretty good. Oh, yes. However, they're claiming that Gail had nothing to do with the move. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm still not done yet. It seems that Gail co-workers praise her in public, but secretly and behind closed doors, she's known for being calculated and very cold. I mean, it's no coincidence that she managed to nab one of the biggest interviews with R. Kelly. Okay? As she was in the middle, pay attention, of negotiating a contract. Oh, yes. There was pretty much about to end her, her um, contract there. But she managed to nab an interview with R. Kelly. But she reportedly, listen, she reportedly nixed an interview with Trouble Wendy Williams by allegedly claiming the chat host was too trashy mouth for CBS. I mean, she's just beneath me, just to put it in, you know, blank words here. But let's be realistic here. But truth be told, she knew she couldn't pull one over on Wendy Williams, who's a vet and getting dirt from anyone. So Gail felt like it was less of a challenge to take an interview with the weak-minded and desperate R. Kelly. I mean, he was an easy target for her. Oh, there's more. You see, Gail used her 40 years in TV news and her Oprah connections with showbiz stars to wrangle an invite to the Duchess Mayans baby shower. You guys know they're not friends. I mean, she didn't get invited to their wedding. Because the truth be told, she wasn't initially invited. Okay? But believe it or not, a year earlier, I just mentioned this, 
she was on the outside looking in as Megan tied the knot to Harry. Only close friends were invited. Gail wasn't one of them. Did y'all did y'all see her? Where you at, Gail? She wasn't invited. No, mm -mm. no, she wasn't. She was covering it from her network, like all the rest of them. But just like the good friend Oprah is, just like Oprah, she gave Gail her invite to that baby shower, and the next thing you see on TV is Gail basking in her fictitious relationship and friendship with Megan when there was never really a friendship in the begin with not even so much as the picture I mean look at the age difference Megan is 37 years old and Gail is 64 years old yes she invited Oprah but we all know Oprah knows everyone okay and I'm sure they cross paths at, at some point. Who knows? I mean, they're both actresses. Let's be realistic here. So now she's trying to use her connections and race to nab an interview with Beyonce and Jay-Z. Did y'all know that? Gail is trying to land an interview with Beyonce and Jay-Z. They have yet to respond, though. But word on the street is, is that they were pretty much upset for her taking the interview and taking sides to those liars who lied on Michael Jackson. A lot of people are, because we all know they're lying. I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Did you guys know I did a video about dude who accused Michael Jackson of something? This is before it went viral. And as soon as he went viral, they flagged the video so it won't show up in your feeds. Oh yes. Be looking forward to that video. I'll be uploading it again via Patreon account and my backup channel and Facebook. So be looking for that pretty much within the next 24 hours okay now let's move forward here now so she's trying to do that but they're mad because she took that interview but we all know money talks I mean you offer a big enough salary to the Beyonce and Jay-Z brand because that's what they are brand they were probably jump on that like hotcakes I mean give them a big enough figure that they jump on it oh yes with some restrictions for the interview questions not the accent things of that nature but we know Gail she'll squeeze it out of you I gotta admit, the girl is good. I love her style. I do. I mean, I love her style. There's no hating here. I'm just speaking the truth. I love Gail. I love her style. Do your thing, girl. Except for going to get your race, but that's a whole other subject. Anyway, but getting back to this whole um, thing here. But the word on the street is they, they yes, they were upset with Oprah for you know, you know, taking sides with those liars who lied on Michael Jackson. They saw both Oprah and Gail in a new light, but money talks. I honestly think that Beyonce and Jay-Z should interview with Jada Pinkett. I mean, I know there's some history there. I mean, I know there's history and some beef there. There's a reason why they don't hang together a lot anymore. I mean, that's the past. I mean, let's move on here. I mean, are they going to continue her on grudges? Is that the image they're trying to portray? How do you expect for people to take you seriously and think you're humble if you're acting so non-forgiving to a lot of stupid crap like Kanye West who's been a close friend and so on and so forth that's not how you want to be portrayed you want people to think you're human and humble then learn to forgive just saying but let's keep it moving here so I honestly think they should interview with Jada Pickett Smith at the red table I think that'd be a really good thing for them I think she will ask questions they want to be asked. I think it'll be down to earth and get everything out. But knowing Beyonce, she probably interview with some someone overseas. I hope she'll interview with Oprah. Because if she thinks Oprah is going to have her back, she got another thing coming. I'm just saying. Just saying. But anyway, <clears throat> keep it moving here. So, just want to give you guys a little bit more information. Even after all of this, even after all this, Gail still have a history. And I'm about to get deep in that right now. Now, even after she do all that, Gail still can't talk when it comes to marital problems. She shouldn't even be the one to interview. I mean, after all, her 11-year-old marriage to Connecticut Assistant Attorney General William Bumpus whom she has two grown kids with, she apparently caught him cheating. And she later tried to salvage it, 
tried to salvage the marriage with counseling, but he was done with her. He was moving on. It seems the incident was so traumatic that she was quoted recalling the exact moment of betrayal. Now, if you know the exact moment, date, and time, that's D. Oh, yes, and I have the date and time, too. The exact moment, date, and time of the trail is June 24th, 1990 at 9.16. And then she added, I'm not a huge fan of the woman I caught naked with my now ex-husband. Who that woman is? I don't know. She was caught flirting, though. This is Gail. Later, she was caught flirting with Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey, whom dissed her and is now dating actress Rosario Dawson. Yes, he, he dissed her and now is dating actress Rosario Dawson. So now it's claimed that Gail has buried herself in her work and pretty much stopped flirting with men and enjoying her $7 million apartment in New York. She was told to just get home, she take off her wig and makeup upon arriving at home and start checking her emails, texting her friends and desperately trying to, you know, nab interviews of B&J and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un and college robbery suspect and actress Lissity Huffman. That is the life that Gail lives, unfortunately. I pray she finds the happiness she deserves because every woman deserves to be happy. I mean, every time you see her, she seems so unhappy. I mean, you can see her. I mean, she ate substantially over the past five or ten so years. I mean, I may have my disregards about how she exploited her own people to move up the ladder. I mean, I would never get over that. But I don't hate her. And I respect her regardless of her hustle. I know it can't be easy. I mean, I'm not a hateful person. I'm not on here to hate people because I don't hate, I don't even hate Beyonce and Jay-Z. Although I have disregards on theirs as well, <laughs> a lot. But I don't hate them. I just, just like some of their business aspects. But hey, you do what you got to do. You know, just saying. But that being said, people, I'm going to end it here. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, The Truth Show Deluxe, and also support my Patreon account. All the links are below, or you can just hit them at the end of this video. Also, don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notifications for when I drop another video. Love you all. Talk to you all later. Bye.